The gold continues to be one of the most sought-after precious metals. It is one of the most valuable and a symbol of wealth and power. To obtain it, miners must process tons of rock. But have you ever wondered how gold is made? Remind, we have a giveaway of a $100 value item of your choice for the first 1,000 subscribers. Hurry up and don't miss it. We visited the largest gold deposit in the United States and the largest underground gold vault in the world to discover how gold is extracted from mines and how it is stored in one of the safest places on the planet. Billions of years ago, a meteor shower fell on the planet and brought with it gold. Everything they brought remained buried until the miners arrived and the fever for this shiny golden metal began. The gold rush seekers in California didn't care where the gold came from. They pursued the American dream and gold could make them millionaires. What they didn't know was that under their feet there was a sea of gold much more extensive than they could have ever dreamed of. The overheated silica gold was forced to rise from the depths of the earth and crystallized in quartz veins. To supply all the demand for gold, it is moved in mountains, and more precious metal is extracted than one could imagine. Gold cannot be extracted or processed until it is found. The first step is to find out where the gold is. Currently, most gold is found in rocks in the form of microscopic particles, invisible to the naked eye. In Northeast Nevada is the largest gold deposit in the United States. The tool needed to find rocks containing gold has been replaced by a giant electromagnetic system, a huge metal detector that flies through the sky. It sends a signal capable of detecting magnetized sand and all the related components hundreds of meters underground. Often, gold is found in this sand. Aerial exploration is an expensive method, but can narrow the search. Finding a very large mine is not easy, so the economic risk is high. Of every thousand prospects, less than one results in success. When they locate a vein, the drillers start their work. These machines can drill the rock up to two kilometers deep. The gold mine in Northeast Nevada is the second largest gold mine in the United States. It belongs to Very Gold, the largest mining multinational in the world. It is made up of two mines, one underground, and one open pit over 80 meters wide and 450 meters deep. Six tons of limestone containing gold are flown every day. When they blast, they first drill the rock and then put in the explosive made of ammonium nitrate combined with fuel. They use between 700 and 900 tons of ammonium nitrate every time. 600,000 tons of pulverized rock for each ton of mineral that may contain just three grams of gold. A lot of rock is needed to produce a gold bar. Millions of tons of rock are required for a single bar. Billions of dollars are needed to extract this mineral. Nowadays, gold is worth about $63 per gram, and miners spare no expense. This shovel is the largest in the world and costs over $20 million. The loading trucks can hold up to 270 tons of ore, and the shovel loads one ton in three scoops. The truck arrives empty and leaves with a full load in just a minute. The trucks unload the ore, and the conveyor belt deposits it into a giant rotating drum. Inside, huge steel balls grind it to a powder. The rock is crushed until it becomes sand and mixed with water to form a kind of mud. Then, it is added to huge tanks. For the next step, small amounts of cyanide are added to form a very diluted solution. Cyanide is one of the few chemicals that dissolve gold. Small fragments of coal are then added that trap the gold from the solution and separate it from impurities. Then, the gold solution is treated with electrolysis. An electric current causes the gold to deposit on the negative electrode or cathode in the Nevada mine and tons of gold that cannot be extracted through open pit mining. So, they go underground to a much more expensive and dangerous search half a kilometer to reach a dark and strange world formed by a network of 80 kilometers of tunnels. The average temperature down here is 60 degrees and the mine has one of the largest air conditioning systems in the world. To extract the gold, the same technique as open pit mining is used. First, blasting, then shovels collect the mineral 
and sift the rock that falls until the truck is full. The truck takes the mineral to the surface, where it will be processed. The gold is covered by a thick crust of sulfide. The mineral and water are heated to 224 degrees in a giant chamber. Pure oxygen is added, and after being subjected to enormous pressure, the crust breaks and releases the gold. The gold extracted from open pit and underground mining ends up in the dumping room. The next step is smelting, for which it is heated to about 1,100 degrees Celsius with 90% pure gold. Each ingot weighs 25 kilograms, but to obtain it, miners must process up to 8,200 tons of rock. Each ingot is the size of a brick and is worth more than a million dollars. About 26 tons of gold are extracted from the mine each year, equivalent to more than a billion dollars. Now the gold goes to a refinery, where all impurities will be eliminated. The gold undergoes the final cleaning and polishing phase. The last step is to mark the ingots with the percentage of purity. More than 190,000 tons of gold have been extracted throughout history, and a large part of that gold ends up in the hands of the Federal Reserve. For over 80 years, armored vehicles have circulated through the narrow streets of Manhattan, transporting millions in gold deposits in and out of the only Federal Reserve Bank that is trusted enough to safeguard almost a quarter of the world's entire gold supply. The gold vault of the Federal Reserve Bank of New York is located in the basement of its main office building in Manhattan, built in the early 1920s. The vault provides account holders with a safe place to store their monetary gold reserves. Much of the gold in the vault came after World War II as many countries wanted to store their gold reserves in a safe place. Holdings in the gold vault continued to increase and peaked in 1973, shortly after the United States suspended the convertibility of dollars into gold for foreign governments. At its peak, the vault contained more than 12,000 tons of gold. Since then, the activity of deposits and withdrawals of gold has slowed, and the vault has experienced a gradual but steady decline in overall holdings. However, the vault remains today the largest monetary gold deposit in the world. Gold travels in armored vans surrounded by heavily armed guards. Then the vans are unloaded, and this small pile of gold ingots may not look like much, but if you try to put it in the back of your car, you would burst your tires. Now they take the ingots to the largest underground armored gold chamber in the world, valued at more than $380 billion. What would you do with so much gold? Leave your opinion in the comments. If you want to know how a gold chain is made, you have the link in the description and the first comment. Like the video if you liked it and share it with someone else who might be interested. Also, subscribe to the channel by activating notifications to keep learning. Bye bye.